Hello from Fresh Kills Park, the largest landfill to parks transformation in the world, located in Staten Island, New York. My name is Kate Field, and I am the manager for science and research development here at Fresh Kills. Today, we're going to learn about how researchers observe animal behavior using a tool called an ethogram. Scientists who study animals use ethograms to describe and quantify animal activity. At Fresh Kills Park, we use ethograms to learn more about one of our favorite birds, the osprey. Every spring, osprey build nests on platforms at Fresh Kills Park. We use an ethogram to collect data about their nesting success. Ethograms can be used to answer all kinds of questions about animals. Have you ever wondered how much of the day your cat sleeps or grooms? Or how pigeons spend their day, maybe? Or why your dog sometimes sprints around your house with no explanation? Now, we're going to learn how to use an ethogram to learn more about animals that you see every day. The first step is to observe an animal and record what it does. So, find an animal you can easily observe. This could be your pet, a bird you can see from the window even, a squirrel, maybe a mosquito. Start by watching the animal closely. Notice what kind of behaviors that it usually does. Does it sleep, scratch its head, sit, sniff or scratch at the ground? Make a list of these behaviors and make sure to define them so that they can be categorized. These definitions that you make for behaviors are an example of an operational definition, which is a clear, concise, detailed definition of a measure. It is important to clearly define your behaviors so that it's easy to distinguish one from another. Your next step is to develop a research question. What are you curious about? Think about the different animal behaviors. Remember, a good research question asks something specific and measurable. With an ethogram, you can answer questions about how many times an animal does a particular behavior, how much time is spent doing different activities, or what behaviors tend to happen before or after others. Now it's time to set up your ethogram. On a piece of paper, set up a simple chart. Write down the behaviors on one side. On the other side, leave room to record the behaviors. There are different ways you can make your recordings. We're going to use examples of two different methods for recording data with ethograms, point sampling and focal sampling. If you're interested in what an animal is doing over a long period of time, you may want to use point sampling, which in this case would mean recording what the animal is doing at set intervals. For example, I could ask what my dog likes to do throughout the day while I'm working from home by recording what she's doing every 30 minutes throughout the day. We'll show an example of how an activity budget may be made for a pigeon. For this example, we'll use a technique called focal sampling, which will have us record what the pigeon does continuously for a certain amount of time. For this, you could either record the start and end times of each behavior, or you could decide that every 15 seconds you will note which behavior is being performed. The value of this kind of sampling is that it can be used to create activity budgets for an animal that let you know how an animal uses its energy throughout the day. Your last step is to analyze your data. Take a look at your data. What did you learn? We saw that the pigeon mostly walked around and sometimes pecked, and that my dog usually sleeps during the day. If we record data for a longer period of time, we'll have an even better understanding of how these animals spend their days. At Fresh Kills Park, we collect data about ospreys by observing where they build their nests, when they lay their eggs, when young hatch, and how many young fledge. After collecting these data, we are able to use some of our recordings of behaviors to estimate egg laying dates and chick hatching dates. Now that you've collected data, you can return to your research question. Did you find what you needed to answer your question? If not, you may need to collect more data or find your methods. Researchers collect a lot of data before drawing conclusions, so don't expect to find answers right away. What did you learn today about animal behavior from your ethogram? Tell us on social media at Fresh Kills Park. Thanks for watching.